What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my touchscreen all digital George Foreman smokeless grill. Today, for you guys, we're going to make some cheeseburgers and some hot dogs. For those that may not know, uh, back in 2014 or maybe even 13, uh, one of my biggest videos on my channel then was a George Foreman cheeseburger. So, you know, the George Foreman is dear to my heart because that was one of my first videos that actually got a lot of traction that made me believe that I can actually do this <laughs> so so since it's 2020 we're gonna make it we're gonna make a burger 2020 style shout out to all my peeps with the George Foreman here we go we're gonna make about four burgers you just need like a pound and a half of ground beef but since it's we're gearing towards fall that's my type of weather so if I have some extra ground beef to take outside late night, that's fine with me. So the extras would just would just uh, vacuum seal them up for a later date. I'm gonna go ahead and put an egg in there. All right, so I'm gonna do half of a small white onion and half of a small red onion. We'll chop that up. Link will be in the description, guys. go-to which is uh, pink salt black pepper and garlic I'll leave a link in the description this is my favorite seasoning guys I use it on 90% of everything that I make that needs seasoning next up of course is what your sister's social sauce that brings out the flavor in your burgers so we're gonna do that to taste We're gonna have some fun today, guys. I'm gonna put some uh, red thick sauce, Frank's red red hot sauce. Put some of that in there. Some people usually put ketchup in there. This is like a thick consistency, so add some heat as well. Plenty of flavor there. All right, we're ready to mix. All right, I'm just gonna let this sit here for about five ten minutes. Let everyone talk to each other. I'm gonna go ahead and start up my bacon. So we're gonna, I'm gonna leave it at, uh, I'm gonna do 400. And time, we're gonna go ahead and do, about 13 minutes or so. I'll wait till it turns green, that means it preheated. All right, we are on green. Sizzle time, y'all. Now what you do, boys and girls, is you get a beer, have a sip, and get ready to shape those patties. Link will be in the description for this little gadget. It's cool. I'll just show you guys real quick. And shout out to AJ, he's excited because we just got a gaming card for him and now he's playing Fortnite on the PC. So that's what you hear in the background. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Go like that. And take that off and boom. Perfect every time. Alright guys, so this is what we're looking like. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Y'all gonna stop making fun of my bacon jar. Ah, let me get this out of here. All right, cleaned it out. All right, guys, I added some water to my drip 
spray it again to reduce the smoke. You won't see any smoke once you do that. And I add some liquid smoke just to, it just sounds cool to add. In my travels, this doesn't really add flavor to your food. You smell it in the air more than you taste it in your food, trust me. You still got the bacon grease on the uh, bottom pan there, plate. We're gonna go ahead and put our patties on there. I added some apple wood rub to the top of those uh, patties just for extra flavor, just because I saw the seasoning there, I threw it on there. <laughs> We're gonna cook these for 10 minutes at 425, y'all. And that's for well done, so obviously if you don't want it well done, it'll be less time. This is my three-in-one avocado tool. So we're gonna make some Doug-style guacamole today. I forgot to pick up some cilantro, y'all. So I'm gonna use some uh, cilantro powder uh, seasoning. But anyway, the reason why I'm doing these guacamole burgers because as you can see, my avocados are dying and we will not put them to waste. So guacamole cheeseburgers, it will be today. Got my lime in there. And that's actually two avocados in there. That's what I had left. So I'm going to squeeze a whole lime in there for added flavor and to um, help them from further uh, changing color. <laughs> and I got this Pico de Gallo thing from Food Lion and I seasoned it up too. Um, I like to add that in there. Um, it adds a great flavor. It's got onions, tomatoes, all that good stuff, jalapeno. So it's all in one, just being lazy. But our burgers are done. That's 10 minutes. Well done. And like I said, you know, you could do eight, minimum six minutes on your burgers. But of course, I don't want to see pink in mine. I know how y'all, some of y'all do it. All good. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit that bell so you can see when my next video drops, especially my live giveaways. That's all the drippings from those burgers, guys. That's what we love about the George Foreman. We're going to just take that tray out, dump it into this measuring cup. Shout out to Good Grips one time. And we'll let that cool. And I'm going to, instead of dumping it in my sink, I'm going to dump it into my, my uh, garbage. Um, and we easy clean up there with the uh, grill plate. Look at that. That's my hot dog buns. Shout out to Oldie one time. And we're going to do something cute today. I'm going to actually penne press the buns and hot, the hot dog buns and hamburger buns. Although I should have did it the other side. I should have did it facing up, but it's all good. Just one, I always wanted to do that in my George Foreman, and so I did it today, just for fun. It was all good, though. Look at it. Those lines. All right, so now we're going to do our Nathan's Hot Dogs, guys, and this will take about, I don't know, uh, between six, right, between five and uh, seven minutes, depending how much marks you want to see if you're really hungry you can get you can get away with five minutes they'll be done then and of course these are not from frozen but you could cook it from frozen um i would just add about three minutes so let's get these on there and boom we're done this is good as it gets look at that that was seven minutes at 425 y'all look at that all right let's go ahead and build our sandwich you like that cutting board. You like that. I know you do. I know. We're going to add some sharp cheese. And I'm feeling a little freaky today, guys. Because um, I'm going to actually add some Thousand Island uh, dressing. Big Mac style, I guess. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and add some cheese there. Yep. And now we added our bacon, and now we're gonna put the duck style guacamole on there. And that's just a new way of me, um, instead of adding like, I don't know, lettuce, I'll add some guacamole. Or just avocado with some salt and pepper and lime. That'll do too, you don't have to go all crazy. But I'm telling you, once you taste, you know, your hamburger and hot dog with, with either guacamole or just avocado plain, just seasoned a little bit. It'll change your life, I promise you. So we're going to add our burger. We're going to add our hot dog. And we're almost done yet, I'm telling you, because I'm ready to eat. Look at that hot dog. Look at those marks, y'all. We're going to add some ketchup and mustard, and we're good to go. We're ready to serve up a plate. All right, guys. I'm ready to eat. Hope you are too. Check this out. You first. 
You got it? Mm. Mm hmm. Ten minutes. Alright guys, I know my hot dog looks a little crazy, but that's how we're doing it today. You take a bite first. You got it? Mm, 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 mm. Nothing but flavors in there, man. Nothing but flavor. Well, anyway, that's about all I got, guys. If you're interested in this George Foreman grill, this is a this is what I call a bougie George Foreman grill because it's about $129. But remember, it's touchscreen, fully digital, and it's the first one with such a big drip tray. So, if you love George Foreman and you've had him in the past, you want something easy but stylish to put on your counter, check the link in the description to this George Foreman. Because I bet you, if you put this on your counter, people will be like, what is that? And you'll be like, that's a George Foreman. They'll be like, what? So definitely check that out. Guys, check me out on Instagram, uh, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got, guys. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for looking at my video.